to get out, I think. You think you can squeeze by skinny? Can. You can. I can do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I want to tell you uh, the cosmic key. Uh, Karen and I had an amazing experience. Uh, and she's listening, she's watching actually. Uh, Karen, and uh, we we're trying to decide whether we're going to talk about it this time or next time when we start doing the, when I'm training you on how to use the cosmic key. But I'm going to share with you uh, how amazing, uh, because if you know my um, uh, work, if I used it to predict a show of all these deaths, from Robin Williams to uh, even Obama, uh, uh, Osama bin Laden to uh, Nicole, Anna Nicole Smith mm -hmm. to um, Steve Jobs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, 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 and then uh, of course the suicide of Robin Williams, uh, um, Joan Rivers' death. Uh, this one I even put in here already. Remember him? Yeah. Oh, that's hard to see. That's the really sad. Enough. Yeah, he was. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you know, Hernandez, and he killed himself, and I got that in the book already. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah. And uh, um, and I'm so excited to see it in a book form like this. It looks great. Though. So I put this together real quick because I've been selling it on uh, Amazon as a Kindle. Book, you know, where you get readers, but I, I didn't know I could make it into a book with them. They do it, too. It's done. Mm -hmm. So, so um, anyway, we had an amazing experience, uh, and uh, Karen and I were discussing whether we should talk about it today or not. I, I, I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, we, um, Karen, you're there, right, Karen? I'm here. Good. Yeah. Um, actually, why don't you, Karen, everybody can hear you. Why don't you share this, this whole story? Uh, I'd rather you talk about it, and because you've got all the details better than I do. All right, I'll, I'll start, and then you can, you can jump in. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I met a lady this week who was having uh, a lot of problems with her daughter. Uh, her daughter had been uh, sexually abused by her uncle, uh, the mother's brother, actually. Since she was, what, four years old? Yeah, uh, yeah, four or five years old, and now this girl is uh, 16, and she's having a lot of problems, and uh, so problems with uh, pills, taking pills. So the mother, about a month ago, cleaned up the daughter's room, got rid of all the pills, got rid of all the pills in the house, and thought everything was fine. And then when I spoke to her the other day, she was telling me about the daughter, so I, she said, would you have a look at her chart? I said, sure, so I looked at the chart, and sent it off to run because I knew something, something was going on. So we had a look at the chart and I contacted the mother and I said, she's got more pills and she's planning suicide. Mm -hmm. The mother left work and went home and uh, went to her room, found another load of pills and suicide notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, luckily the mother called the family doctor, and they arranged to get this young girl into a rehab. That's the mother's oh my God. picture of what she found in the room. Oh, that's, cool. that's, only some, that's only some of what she found. She enough to kill her. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> hope this daughter, you know, that his life has been saved. Wow. So, nice. the point is that we use the cosmic key as an intervention tool. Uh, she's getting help now. She's going to be taken into some rehab. Um, the girl was devastated because uh, the uncle was found not guilty in, in, in court. Oh, no. And he had threatened her life and her family's life if she ever told anybody. So she's in a state of shock that he got exonerated by this. And of course, you imagine what that is to her. It's re traumatizing. Oh, you can it's imagine. Horrible. Since four, believing her parents, and everybody's going to be killed if she talks to anybody. Oh, so. So there's a lot to the story, but the most important part of it is it's a demonstration of how uh, I saw two things in the chart. Remember, Karen, one was suicide from drugs the first month. Yes. The lunar month, this lunar month, remember? Yes. The next lunar month is even worse. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it was much more a violent death of some form oh. and a suicide. So, um, you know, the fact that Karen got to that mother right away and she had enough, she thought she had this under control. And she went into her bedroom and searched it until she found all these pills. Yeah, 
She left work. She just left work right away after I called her. Mm. So people say very often to me, <coughs> "What's the value of this, Ron? You predict death." And I said, "No." I say in my book uh, on this cosmic key <coughs> that we can use this as an intervention tool. I said my prayer someday would be that not only the psychological and the medical community would come to bear on these things, but also the astrological community could be brought to bear to help offset dangers to these situations and prevent maybe deaths, okay? Suicides like Robin Williams and uh, uh, anesthesia overdose for um, Joan Rivers and you know a good astrologist would said please don't go in and do this today you know don't this is not a good time for you you've got some bad aspects if I see somebody's got some bad, bad aspects I advise you I'd say don't do this this month you know I've said that to you don't do this this month <laughs> we'll look behind you oh like me <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah that it would be better to not start things yeah, you know, they know the timing of things, you know. And I was just, about, you said you might be restless, and yes, I was about to start to do things. Yeah, like, you know, oh, don't jump, yeah. don't jump now, stay, don't do anything yet. <laughs> so the whole point is that it's a wonderful prophetic tool. This tool is so amazing that if the world knew I had it, they'd knock my door down, I swear they would. <laughs> if the astrology community at large knew, um, I, uh, uh, in that book, I could sell that to uh, a thousand people if they were astrologers in a room, they would all want it. Okay. You're very, I don't mean it to egotistically, but you're very privileged to learn this system and to have it now. Uh, I've taught her only to a, a couple classes in my entire time. I only usually share it with, uh, in depth with my private tutor students, which she is. She's been with me since when? When did you come on board with me? A long time ago. Oh, no, no, December or more. Yeah. Um, is, isn't it almost a year now? Oh, has it been that long? She doesn't go away, she said. I told her, I said, I'm not the, I'm not, I'm the door you walk through, Karen, you're not going to take me with you. She said, I'm taking you with me. So, <laughs> so anyway, she's a sweetheart. And her husband is the most amazing guy. He's the most loving and, uh, oh, is he there too? Rick? Uh, no, he, he's, he left. He has to go do a course. Okay. He's a fire, he's the chief, fire chief at the, look, he loves astrology and he's, you know, just, and her, her daughter, it's just a beautiful family. I mean, they become like our family. They're, they're, I love them so much, all of them. Anyway, enough of all that maudlin stuff. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's get on with the class. So anyway, that's an advantage of having something like this and being able to prevent something. And I knew it was drugs overdose was going to be the, the thing she would use as suicide because Neptune was so heavily afflicted. Mm -hmm. Neptune rules sleep and drugs and all that stuff, and undoing, self-undoing. So that was the lunar influence of this lunar month, combined with the other Saturns and transit Saturns, which I'll teach you how to use. Um, the, the transit Saturn and the new moons and the uh, and uh, uh, the progress moon. That's all I use, and I can be accurate beyond that. And it's like a clock. It's like an hour, second hand, and minute hand of a clock. When they all line up, it's going to happen. It's, something's going to happen. Absolutely, it's not, a, it's not a question. You get, I teach, the, the scripture says, except there be two or three witnesses to establish something in law, it's not established. And I use that as a rule in astrology. Three, right? Uh -huh. Two or three. Mm -hmm. And if it won, maybe I might warn somebody it's a possibility. You might have a, you know, uh, you know Mars, the the Mercury, I'd be careful, you might get pulled over for a ticket. It's Mars, Mercury, you could have a, you know, Mars is Marshall, it's the police. Mm -hmm. So is Saturn, the limits, the rules. Mm -hmm. So be careful, don't speed, I'll say, or something. But if they have like uh, three witnesses, I'd say this is a potential car accident. This is something very serious, you know? And I'll warn people. So that's the value of this system. It's unbelievable. It's so accurate, it's scary. And if you Can I say something fun? Yes, honey, please. I've used it on several charts, and it's 100% accurate every time I've used it. And it's, it, it, it's scary, you know? It is scary, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's like I've uncovered, and it's, uh, I've, I'm tapped into a mystery of uh, interpretive power. And uh, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his anywhere. Night and night showeth knowledge. Day and day utter speech, and there is no speech to our language where the voice is not heard. And moreover, in keeping them is our great reward, and by them is thy servant warned. That's Psalms. Keeping what? Their position. And by them is thy servant warned. Speaking of dream, dream interpretation, 
I love that show, uh, dream interpretation. Dream, scriptures, you know what scripture says? The Lord speaketh once, yea, twice, yea, in the deep slumber of the night. Then God sealeth man's instructions, that he may hide pride from man. He talks to a man only because he won't, he hides pride. Only... And the ego's defenses are down. Yeah, you can't go, oh, God spoke to me. If it came to you in a dream, yeah. you're not going to get go egotistically boastful. God spoke to me last night or yesterday. He's, you're going to say, he spoke to me a dream, and I'm supposed to interpret it. That's what Joseph did in the Bible. Joseph... When he was in prison, he interpreted the king's dream. The, the, you know, he he was a master of all this. You know, and you have that gift. You know, you know, take it and work with it. You know, the Lord speaketh once, yea, twice, in the sleep slumber of the night. That's Psalm. That's a, not Psalm. That's I forgot what it's in the Old Testament. I'm not real good with the scripture. Somebody with the Bible that said, you don't know the scripture number, and I said, no, I don't actually, I just know what it said. You know way more than me. I never read the Bible. <laughs> yeah, but I that's, that's fascinating. It's all there, it's all there, girl. It's all there, you know, and it's a wonderful tool. Study the life of Joseph, uh, you know, he was taken captive by Egypt. Is that right, Joseph? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, see, it's almost there. I went to a Jewish day school. <laughs> So, you, you went where? I to a Jewish day school. Did you? So I remember something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers kind of kick him out of his family, uh, and then he was yeah. lost, and then they found him. Somebody found him on the road and brought him to Egypt. And yeah, he was in yeah. Put, his brothers put him in a pit to kill him. Yeah, those meanies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he must have had trouble. Church. Church. <laughs> <laughs> I went yeah. to a Baptist church in Mississippi, mm -hmm. and I always got in trouble oh. because I would question, well, who created God? Because I was a white how come type of kid, and they did not tolerate that. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I would go to the pastor's office and he would give me this big Bible and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, you know, That's yeah. so cute. So, just, yeah. so you were at a class where they were teaching about 